All right, and so our game is kind of coming together now. Um, but one thing that's missing is uh, the boom sound effect of the explosion happening, right? And so uh, the way that we're going to do this or add this to our game is uh, we're going to go on to Google. Okay, so let's come over here to Google. Whoa. Uh, let's come over here. <coughs> And uh, we'll say Roblox.com. Of course, you have an account by now, so you can log in. And uh, we're going to go hit Create. We are going to go to Library. And then we're going to go to Audio. Okay. Now, these are all the different audio files that are available. Anyone that uploads an audio, fi audio file to Roblox, they have to pay in Roblox. Right? Um, we don't want to pay, right? But luckily, if anybody pays, does pay, and uploads their audio file, then it's free to use for all the players that uh, use or create uh, using Roblox, right? So we can come here and say like "boom" and hit enter to search for the sound effect that we want, and you get hit this play button. Should play it. Actually, I think the extremely short sounds do not uh, preview play, so it's kind of annoying, but we can get around this okay so let's come back over here to our obby right here in this part that's going to explode let's go ahead and add the sound object to it so I'll right click say insert object go to sound <coughs> right here so I have my sound object right <coughs> you can see all the properties of the sound object one property that we want to add is the sound ID now <coughs> again <coughs> Sorry, a little bit sick here. But usually you can press play and you'll be able to hear <coughs> the sound play. But I believe with short sounds it doesn't work. So we have to test it out. <coughs> I mouse clicked. I mouse wheel clicked on this boom. That opens it up in a different window, right? So I'm like with my mouse wheel I press down on it here, <clears throat> opening up the link in a different window. <coughs> and now what we're interested in is this ID right up here in the URL. Okay, So get that, Command C. <coughs> Command C will copy it. And then we go back to our Roblox. Right here in the sound ID, I press Command V. And go to Preview. Press Play. Yeah, that does not sound good. So let's go ahead and try another one. Let's get a couple of them going so we can try all of them. Get that ID, copy it, come over here. Make sure sound is highlighted. Go down to sound ID, paste it in, press play. Nope, that's not good. Come over here, copy it. Go to Roblox, paste it in. That might be good, right? Did you like that? <coughs> I guess that's okay, but <coughs> let's try this next one over here. Yeah, those all are not good to me. So uh, I'm going to go to one of my uh, Roblox games over here, and uh, I have a boom sound, I think, that I'm going to use. So where is the boom sound that I have? I think it's level... Man, where is it? I think it's level six. Helicopter. Where is that fireball, man? Uh, da, 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 da. Where are we? Replicate this. Okay, so this fireball should have it. Yeah, that sound. So I'm going to copy this ID here. Um, of course, if I'm you, I would continue looking through these different sound pages until I find one that I think sounds good. But again, I've already done that. And uh, and I have it, so I got grabbed it from my old project. Let's see, where's my properties? Okay, there. Click on my sound file, go down to here, paste it in, press play. Oh, I guess it was that same one, right? Okay, anyways, that's the one that we're going to use. Um, and so how do we play it over here in script? We'll say local sound, or maybe I can call it boom, is equal to part which is the scripts parent right this scripts parent is part 
right? And now that I'm in that part, the parent, I can say dot and then capital sound. Okay. What does this mean right here? This means this boom variable is going to be equal to the part, which is this one, it's child, which is child is the period, right? Which is the sound. Okay. So basically, open up this folder, which is this guy here, and look for a fo an object called sound, capital S, and it finds it right there. All right. So now this thing is the sound file. This boom variable is the sound file. Now to play it, I'm going to play it right here before I introduce the explosion object to the screen, and I'm going to say boom colon capital play like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and play this and see what happens. <coughs> Okay. Wow. Well, first it glitched, and then I uh, stopped pressing up on the keyboard. So let's see if this way, this time goes a little better. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Okay. Boom. 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 Okay. So it works, and everything is going good. Um, another thing that we can do with this sound object, we could say. Well, before we play it, we can increase its volume. Okay, so again, with these objects that we uh, have in the variables, we can go ahead and adjust any of these properties that we want. Okay, so we can come in here and we could say, boom dot volume. Is there a volume here? Volume, yeah, volume right here, right? Capital V. Volume. Whoa boom dot capital volume is equal to let's say two okay so it is equal to 0 0.5 let's see, make it equal to two and see what happens should be a little bit more violent whoa okay that's definitely more uh, effective right so let's do that and uh, that is how we add a sound object to our game